Hello, and welcome again to our Friends in Faith series on the five habits of prayerful people. Today, we're going to be talking about the habit of persistence and perseverance. Now, for the last few weeks, we've been talking about prayer itself, preparing for it, finding passion for it, being present with it. But today, we're going to talk more about making it a habit within our lives and specifically through persistence and perseverance. Now, persistence is a quality that we don't talk about a whole lot. However, it is something that's vitally important in getting through our lives, and it needs to be addressed in prayer as well. Now, when we talk about persistence, creating a habit within ourselves, we're talking about changing our mindset. And this is our capacity to grow and learn. Author and psychologist Carol Dweck says that when you enter a new mindset, you enter a new world. It's about changing yourself, developing yourself, and stretching yourself to learn something new. Uh, this applies to all sorts of meaningful activities in our lives, and that means prayer too. So where does persistence come into this? Well, it means that we don't give up to that change in prayer being added to our lives. We stick to it. It may be uncomfortable to do, but the value in persistence is the ability to learn something despite it being difficult. Now, we're blessed in the Catholic Church that we have many different ways to be persistent in our faith. Consider saying a prayer at the very beginning of the day, or maybe engaging in the liturgy of the hours throughout the day. Attend Mass on more than just Sunday. Mass is available every day of the week. Perhaps go to confession regularly. It's also available to you. Or even say the rosary, perhaps by yourself, or in a community, or even by utilizing an app. I'm actually happy to say that by simply watching this video, you are engaging in a persistent quality. Being a part of Friends in Faith is an excellent way to begin making prayer more of a habit in your life. So the next thing we need to learn, once we've gotten to this point of persistence, is how to stay here. And this is where perseverance comes in. Perseverance is simply persistence that is able to be achieved over the long haul. It takes that new mindset that we have and makes it part of our physical process. Now again, we can find examples of this in many different areas. If you are going to learn a musical instrument, it is much preferable for you to practice 10 minutes every day of the week rather than an hour or two one day of the week. Same with exercise. If you're looking to lose weight, a brisk walk daily will actually do more for you than an hour at the gym weekly. Now, the more we persevere with prayer, the more our bodies become acclimated to it as well. This is why Father Tony, in the beginning of this series, asked us to commit only five minutes of prayer every day. Five minutes. And the point is that when we persist and persevere with just five minutes of prayer, well, turning that into 10 minutes of prayer is not very difficult to achieve. Our minds, our body, our souls not only become acclimated to it, but it begins to desire it more. And that is when we really start to grow in our relationship with God. So where can you find the persistence and prayer that allows it to grow with you? Well, that's a very individual question and answer. 
However, I can recommend this. Take a look at the saints. The church places a lot of value in the roles of saints play, that they play in terms of being guides for our lives. Is there a saint in the church that you admire? How do they pray? If you admire St. Ignatius, well, perhaps you should take a look at these spiritual exercises. However, someone like St. Teresa of Lisieux was known for doing things in the little way, accomplishing small things with great devotion. I'm not asking you to emulate the lives of these saints, but look to them and see if they have a spiritual path that you can follow as well. Now, we all have a unique relationship with God, and your prayer life will be unique as well, as it should be. But what makes your spiritual path wonderful is also what makes it difficult. But again, this is where you will find the value in adding both persistence and perseverance to that prayer life. I hope you have a wonderful conversation and God bless.